Hi everyone, Shishang this side. I hope you all are doing well today. So today we're gonna look into an issue where you have to update an AMI on a certain duration. Like you have created an AMI from your EC2 instance with all the patch and the drivers updated manually. And then after three months or four months, you have to update an AMI with all the patches and the drivers on the network side, on the hardware side, on the software side. So with the help of Amazon Systems Manager, which is a module from AWS, we're gonna streamline the AMI maintenance and patching as well. So what was the problem before? Whenever you provision a machine from an old AMI, always you have to update the patches, drivers, and other software-related configurations, right? Which was one of the hectic tasks. Where to update an AMI, you have to provision an EC2 instance, then manually you have to update the patch and all the softwares related to it all the versions, right? So how this problem can be solved by Amazon. So Amazon released Systems Manager long back and with Amazon Systems Manager, there is something called an automation module, automation service. With the help of that automation service, we can just do few configuration, which will gonna update our AMI, regardless of Windows or Linux platform without doing much manual efforts which most of the people like to have without having much manual intervention automate everything and with one click or with just few clicks complete everything streamline each part of it so uh, this demo is totally related to a practical side of the house so we're gonna jump to our aws management console and i'm gonna show you how to do this so this is my aws management console so first of all, I just want to show you, I have an AMI. So if I go to the AMI section, there is something called test AMI. And this was created like uh, on 21st November, almost like eight days back. So I have to update this AMI with the help of Amazon Systems Manager. So what we have to do. So if you go to the services and type SSM, it will give you a systems manager option. So let's open this. So systems manager is one of a good module that Amazon has created because this provides us a lot of opportunity to automate most of our day-to-day -day job. So one of them is like to update AMI, to update. Another one is to do the patch compliance of your Linux and Windows server. We can take a look on that later. So there is something called automation. And if you click on the automation side, there is an option to execute an automation. So before doing this, what we have to do, we have to create a role. So I'll show you how to do that. So let's click on execute automation. And we're gonna search for AWS update. And you can see like you can update your cloud formation stack, update your Linux AMI, update your Windows AMI. So my AMI is related to Windows. So I'm gonna select this one and keep the default version as at runtime. So that should be fine. Click next. Now here what you have to do. So you have to give your source AMI ID, like the ID of your AMI. Then you have to give IAM instance profile name so the instance profile name is basically it will allow ssm to interact with my instance and you have to create something called automation as assumption role so for that what we have to do so we're gonna go to our iam console we'll go to the roles and create a role for ec2 so the source type is ec2 next permission and I'm going to give permission as an admin access tags review. Let's give this as SSM test create a role. Awesome. So our role is created. And the next thing what we have to do, we have to create a trust relationship with our SSM. So for that trust relationship and we have to edit trust relationship. So as you can see, we have already created a trust relationship with EC2 instance. The next we have to do it for SSM. So for that, I'll just copy paste the policy, the JSON document that we have. 
and again if you're not aware of IAM then please do watch my video series on IAM that will give you a clearer picture so we are trying to create a trust relationship with SSM as well so update the trust policy and you can see the identity provider is EC2N SSM permission is admin so the next step would be like go to systems manager and copy our AMI ID which is this one copy this because we are going to update all the patches all the drivers I'm gonna show you what are the things getting updated with systems manager automation so update the ID then we'll gonna give our instance profile name which is SSM underscore test I guess this is the one that we have SSM underscore test and again naming convention can be anything that totally depends upon the standard naming convention that your organization is using I'm just showing you for the demo purpose okay and here we have to select our SSM the, uh, the one which we have created but it's not showing up over here let's see it's SSM underscore test select this and the instance type can be anything by default it is like going for t2 medium and again these are the options so with subnet you want to launch this particular EC2 instance so at background what this will gonna do this will gonna launch an instance for you with this AMI ID and then this will gonna perform like 14 steps of updating each of the drivers softwares patches so all those things are getting updated with this particular configuration you can include the KB so uh, if it is Windows or Linux if you don't want to include certain KB article then you can exclude that if you want is any specific needs to be installed as a patch then you can include that we have se severity level category publish date before then after post update script what do you want to do pre update script what do you want to do so all these can be done with this configuration it's totally depend upon the requirement only the top three are very important and required which is the AMI ID instance profile name and the rule that we have created rest everything are optional in nature that totally depends how you want to proceed so let's click execute and also you can get the CLI command from here so that should be fine for the person who wants to do everything from the CLI interface so let's click on execute now here we go let's see how many steps this is going to do launch an instance this will gonna check the OS compatibility check pre update script update EC2 config SSM agent drivers ENA drivers which is the network driver then we have AWS NVM install the Windows update run the post update script let's go to second page this will gonna do a sys prep so this will going to remove all the dependencies all the old values that we have for system identifiers and everything then stop the instance create an image and terminate the instance so just think these are the things that we were used to do manually whenever we have to update an AMI then we have to create an instance then run each of these steps manually like your updating of EC2 config, SSM agent, drivers, patching windows updates then run the sys prep all these were done manually if you're not aware how to create AMI from EC2 instance just to watch my AMI video that will again give you a clear picture so I'm gonna share the link of all those videos uh, with this particular video description so that will help you guys to understand what exactly we are trying to do over here so again this will gonna take yes some time so if I go to my EC2 instance you can see there will be like one instance is in running state on Amazon SSM what this will gonna do this will gonna update everything on this instance stop the instance create an AMI and terminate this instance so this will gonna take I guess more than 30 minutes or less I mean nearby 30 minutes and once this is done 
you're gonna see everything is completed 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 so I'm gonna pause this video once everything is green then I'll resume it back and show you guys the AMI status so all the steps has been done and we can see the status is changed to success so you can see like uh, launch an instance OS compatibility check ec2 config update ssm agent everything has been done successfully if i go to the second page it has run the sysprep as well stop the instance image has been created and terminated as well so let's go to our aws management console and you can see this is the image and the name that we have selected like update windows ami from ami this on 29th of november so this is the latest ami that we have and from which we can provision our ec2 instances go to the instance and you can see the newly created instance from which ami has been established is terminated now so just think this is as simple as that you just have to do a few configuration and leave that as it is you don't have to do any kind of manual effort so just try it out on your account the same process is with windows as well as linux so if you go to execution like go to the automation and click on execute automation search for aws hyphen update click AMI update for Linux next and the same thing you have to do give your AMI ID for Linux your SSM profile the role that we have created and the default is for Linux ST2 micro and just you have to click on execute after selecting everything and you are done your AMI is updated with all the patches all the network driver and everything so just try it out on your account, create a AMI first and try to update or you already have an AMI. So try to update that AMI with this particular step. This is as simple as that and secure enough to use for near future and easy to maintain as well. If you are facing an issue, just place out a comment in comment section and I'll be there to help you. Have a nice day. Bye bye.